Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to upgrade Lambda 1 VR, which allows you to play the original Half Life game on your Oculus Quest or Quest 2, potentially a future Quest device, to HD. Because you know, no matter how good Half Life the original is, putting it on a high resolution display as what the Quest and Quest 2 has, it looks a bit dated. So we're going to show you how to upgrade to HD. It's really easy, really simple. A few things, you obviously need a Quest, and this is for Mac. I've got a separate video doing it for Windows and for Linux. So if you're on those OSs, feel free to check them out. Also, you need to make sure you've actually got Lambda 1 VR set up already, because they, this is not a Lambda 1 VR setup video, you know, first installation video. I've got a separate video for that for Mac, Windows, and Linux as well. So feel free to check them out. And obviously, make sure you've got SideQuest installed as well. I discussed that in the other videos and you know provide appropriate links okay so there's a few things that we will need the first thing is if we open this up we'll need from this website I will provide a link to this in the description so you can get hold of this we will need if we scroll down the HL gold HD pack so in the actual half-life installation itself there is a Valve HD folder. We will be using the assets from that, but to actually make it look even better, we'll be using the HL Gold HD as well. So if you just click this button, you'll open up another Reddit link. And if you scroll down, click the HL Gold zip, and then let's just like right click. It's quite big, so it can take a bit of time. Uh, click download. Download anyway. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. So I'm going to cancel that. And what you'll need to do is extract this. So if I got it right here in the download folder. So to extract it, I would recommend something like Archive Utility. It's free. Feel free to check that out. You can try the built in Mac uncompression tool, but I recommend something like Archive Utility. You can just double click it. Here we go. Okay, so it is uncompressing this now. While it does this, we also need Android file transfer. So if you Google Android file transfer, go to this website. I will provide a link in the description. Click download now. And if we load up this folder, I've already got it downloaded. And what you want to do is, is this done? This is almost done. Let's wait for this to be completed and then we'll get onto Android file transfer. I've got a note of exactly everything that we need to do. So there's a few specific steps. And yeah, should be all good. Okay, so open up Android file transfer and copy this over to applications. You won't get, you shouldn't get this dialogue because you won't have it already, I already do. So I'm just going to copy and replace it. And now it's in the applications and we can just launch it up from here. Close this down, click open. And we can eject this as well. Okay, so Android 4 transfer. Let's plug our device in. Plug it in. And it's no device found. So just put on your headset. And your when it actually loads for me. Do still loading, taking a bit of time. I'm gonna unplug and replug the cable back in. Okay, so you'll say allow USB debugging, click allow, allow access to data, click allow, and if any of those option like allow you to be debugging which has for me come back up click allow and that's it and if i put this down it'll load this up if it still gives that little warning about no device found simply quit out of android file transfer and re reopen it i'll find this fixes all the 
problems. Okay, so now what we also need to do is go to the Half-Life folder that we downloaded and put into our document folder in the previous installation video for Lambda 1 VR on Mac. And in here, go to the Valve HD. We need all of these, but the way Mac does a lot of stuff, we don't want to just drag and drop it. We, we basically want to copy the files manually. So go to Valve and go to Models. And in Models, select literally everything. But there's one little thing, one little problem. Yours will be spelt like this. It'll be uppercase H. This causes problems. So what you want to do is rename this to lowercase h. It's just the way it is, but make sure your rename is very important. Select everything, drag it on, click replace all. It's not large, won't take long. And now we go to sound. In sound of the folder, so you go back, go to sound, go to the hgrunt folder. And in here, copy over the two WAV files. Again, just replace anything that requires replacing. And go to weapons. Again, select all of that. Replace anything that needs replacing. And finally, go to sprites. Just free files. And go back. Go to. Go back again. Go to sprites. And copy that over. And replace anything that needs replacing okay so that's the valve hd the official hd stuff that's coupled with the game sorted so you got to make sure that in models hgrunt 03 has a lowercase h because by default it will have an uppercase h that causes problems now that we've done that next thing what we need to do is copy over the hl gold so this folder we want to go back 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 and if you're here go to xash you want to copy it to here. I'm not going to copy it because it takes a bit of time. But all you do is you won't have the HL Gold underscore HD for you. You'll just have Valve. So you basically just copy that on and just let go and you'll start copying. The next thing you need to do is copy over the command line.txt. I'll do this really quick. Click replace. If for some reason you do not want to use the HL Gold HD stuff, all you do is in the command line txt you get rid of this you will save that copy this version of the command line txt over and now you'll just be using the valve hd stuff so you can you know swap back and forth very easily even without removing the hl underscore gold underscore hd pack feel free to experiment with these and have a look on this website you know you know, this guide right here explains this in more detail of what to do it is really useful and it is really cool and that is it that, that, that's really it. obviously make sure you've got this folder copied over make sure in the valve hd folder you copy the files manually and the hgrunt03 file the h is lowercase because by default it is uppercase it is stupid but it you know that that is what it is and make sure you copy over this command line.txt but obviously ours we will want to look like this let me show you because you can't just edit it directly this is how we want ours to look unless you don't want the hl gold underscore hd then you can remove this and now we are good to actually test the game so the other one thing to remember is if you are using saves from an old version you can just grab the saves from here the whole save folder and put in the HL Gold HD folder if you want saves to come over otherwise you'll just start at the start so if you have already have saved just do that and we can close this we can close this I'm going to disconnect my headset I'm going to launch up Microsoft Edge and this is just you don't need to do this anymore you can just play the game this is just so I can show you by casting the screen over because I've had issues casting my oculus screen onto a chrome browser so oculus.com forward slash quest and here we go you are about to see some amazing stuff right now we just bear with me while i just 
M2 got to boot. Let's go full screen. <laughs> Wait, uh... There we go. So you're seeing what I'm seeing now. So remember to access the game, you go to apps, go to this drop down, scroll all the way to the bottom and go to unknown sources. And now here select Lambda One VR. You might be further down if you've installed other stuff since then. If you haven't, you'll be at the top, Lambda One VR. And now in here, there's something you need to do. Go to configuration, video, video options. I've already selected it, but yours all look like this. Allow materials won't have a cross in there. So click that, so we have the cross in there. And feel free to you know, experiment with other stuff, including you know, audio as well, and messing around with some control stuff. But by default, it's pretty good. Go to new game, select what, e, what you want, or you can load game if you've got some previously saved games that you've transferred over. So I'm gonna select medium. The loading is super fast, which is fantastic. And here we go. We have the HD models now. And this looks a lot better. Can you see what I'm seeing? Yes, you can. So we can look around with the HD models or the higher resolution character model there. Yo, this is so good. I'm really considering doing a live stream of, not one live stream, but multiple live streams of me playing all of Half-Life, but in VR. So this version. Then I could even do Opposing Force and blue shift as well okay so that is it i'm just going to pause it go to quit and take the headset off so that is it that is how you set up your lambda one vr installation on your quest headset so it is in HD. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.